one owner car guy, one owner car guy.com. There's two kinds of people in this world. There's people with a dirty curled up hat that work. And there's people with a little smooth hat to try and hang out and look good and be all pretty. They look pretty boys. You know, if you ain't got some dirt and grime on your hat and you ain't got a bend on it, well, your boyfriend probably has the same kind of hat as you. And that basically, I mean, come on. How are you going to work with a big old bill hanging? I ain't going to bend mine back and ruin the structural integrity of my hat. Yeah, how can you work with a flat old bill sticking out to here like you're goofy? It's just freaking stupid. So, yeah, that's just Katrina, my woman. She keeps wanting to wash my hats and stuff. You can't wash my hats. That's going to ruin the structural integrity of my hat, too. Not cool. So, moving out of here, doing stuff. I got Kirill coming by to help me and Rich today. Because honestly, there's a lot of stuff to do. You can see behind me, we've got kind of stuff swapped into this here stuff's good. And this over here stuff's bad. Now the bike's going to go in a good pile. And I need to take a picture. In fact, I'm going to just do it right now to where I don't forget and I can get it on Marketplace. I'm going to take a picture of this here thing. Hang on. It's got an Idlebrock performer on it. It does have a bigger... RV-ish type cam. I forgot it's an Autobrock carburetor too. So Autobrock carburetor, Autobrock manifold. It's a core, man. It's a core at best. But it's got some cool stuff on it. And maybe I can sell it on Marketplace. I don't want to take everything with me, do everything, and keep all this garbage. In fact, I don't even know. Think about this. I don't even know what's in here. Sandpaper mostly, I think. Yeah. Sandpaper, scotch bright. Who knows, I'll probably just take a bunch of this stuff, throw it over there in that toolbox, call it good. And then you got stuff like these teardrop looking almost um, 80s wheels. Man, I'm keeping them. They look nice on a Chevy truck or something. I got the matching wheel for that up in Montana. And, well, I think that's kind of it. I think um, Thunderbird SC, I had a black one on my channel, cool stuff. This goes to the 380 SEC up in Montana, I believe. This is probably going to go on my little Chevy S10, I mean um, C10, and that's that. So as you see, we've got everything almost out of here. A um, little bit of trash here, a little bit of trash there, but we're down to the Buick is sold. I got to get out of here and get paperwork done. Trans Am is on the trailer, so I got the, this is sold. Limo, Volvo, four, four left, is that it? One, two, three, four. I got four left. Plus the one on the trailer. The one on the trailer is going to the yard. I got to move some stuff around to make that all work. Tires are tire kings. He's just storing them over here. And I got to get the Catamino out. And that's going to be a, a big chores mezizo. And we're going to get it out of here and get it over Prizio and maybe do some preservation on it. Before, preservation before it gets too big. The limo over there, I got to get out. So we'll have to look at this. We got so much room in here. There is a lot of room, huh? Yeah, I'm just consolidating everything. Everything there forward is pretty kind of snug packed, so. <laughs> oh, wow, you got a lot of shit out of here just now. I just moved it forward, really. The tires. Man, that took a week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to stack the light body parts on top, things like that, so that they're not crushed. It's consoles and door panels, and I don't see digging into that too deep, do you? No, I don't. I see maybe throwing light stuff on it if we have anything yeah. like that, but I don't know that we do. At some point, we're going to need a spot for that top to sit on. Right here. Maybe, I don't know. Stand it up, you don't think? Maybe, you know what, that caddy top can go on top of all that. Yeah. Uh, it's glass. It's concerning me. It concerns me too, because I've already broken a few. It's worth something. Definitely. And I don't know how to preserve it. So find every, some, every piece of blanket you can save. I've kept, I've kept a big chunk of shit over there. Hey. Yeah, I, mean, I was thinking that too. All the, I, I already did some of that, but yeah. That is a stack of floor mats. And you know, I didn't collect all these floor mats just by thinking they were shitty and yucky. This is a rear floor mat for a W140, I believe. That's just a... You know what? That could be... It's got factory holes in it. That could be a Beamer or a... You know, it just goes on and on. Look at this. I mean, this is factory front and backs for a caddy. The stuff's worth money. Um, it's just a matter of organizing. I'm pretty sure this 
It's a Chevy pickup. Look at all the little nubbies. Hang on, two nubbies. I think we're getting everything in Montana ready to bring all this to here. <laughs> <laughs> to throw it all in and make a big mess. Mm. Uh, I think, yeah, you're right. I was all smiling, now I'm kind of depressed again. I think SW 116. There's a lot of shit. Yes. Where was the... Did you see the Iron Crosses yet? No. Huh? No, I think they're up here. Oh, uh, you know, they were in that trailer last time I remember. Okay, I can believe that. They were in that trailer. Yep, you're right. You're right. Unless they've been moved. Man, he didn't move that either. Okay. I don't have the keys. So there's more stuff in that trailer. What we're going to try and do is take all the stuff from this trailer and put it in that trailer. That should be easy, right? And, man, I'm here to tell you, it really just wouldn't be possible without Rich here helping me get stuff done. Um, great help, and not only that, great friend. And it's, it's his birthday yesterday, man. He's down here for his birthday. My mom made a cake. 